Hello guys, recently I saw um, a YouTube video um, of a series which I've also seen shown on the BBC called The Diary of a CEO, okay? And it's a series presented by Stephen Barlett, okay? In one particular episode, he was talking to a former Google employee about the future of AI. Now this particular um, ex-employee um, has a book out and which is trying to promote which is about uh, from what I can gather and I'm paraphrasing here the doom and gloom of AI of the future and he's basically saying that AI can be used for good or bad purposes but this is the main crux of it of what I'm set what I have an issue with the issue seems to be that people are saying that within the next two or three years or something like that AI will become incredibly relevant it will become super powerful almost knowing as much as a real person possibly even being more intelligent than a real person and this is where I take issue with it because I have a, a general and I'm not as advanced in the modern world regarding computing I was a genius at computers as a child that's I'm not exaggerating it's fact but um, later in re more recent times I've just become just another computer user to be honest so I probably know about as much about computers now as perhaps normal people who use them all the time but don't know how they work behind the scenes I know a bit about how they work behind the scenes but I'm not in the modern world okay so I want to make this clear I've not worked in AI officially but I understand some of the ideas okay in general terms but I have tried to use this to put some of this to the test now um, recently Skype Microsoft have put AI into Skype and they, I think they call it something like Bing for Skype or something like that. Um, and yes, they, they put Bing into Skype and they say, and it, apparently it's AI based in some way. It might be based on Chat G D GPT or some other AI engine. But nonetheless, this is seen as um, groundbreaking for some people so I thought I would actually check it out for myself now sometimes it won't answer the question it refuses to do so and then if you ask the same question again several times it will actually answer the question even though initially it, refu it actually it not only can't it says it can't it just refuses to it says I'm not doing this on ethical grounds or something like like how do, you know I don't know so like how are children born but you know um, perhaps a more advanced version of that right and then it might answer the question it might on other things so it seems if you ask the same question several times you might get slightly different answers it may decide based on exactly the same question whether it will or answer it how many, depending on how many times you ask it no and and also um, for example I asked it some questions about the um, Johnny Depp versus Amber Heard trial and just out of curiosity which just I don't know why I just felt like it was some reason based on things I was reading and basically this was done just a few days ago and it said that the Amber Heard versus Johnny Depp trial was still taking place in the US when it actually is already finished and finished um, several weeks ago so the point I'm making I think it finished last year even actually off the top of my head right so the point is it's not even reliable so how is this happening? Well, the reason I think it's happening is because people don't understand how AI works. They give AI a question, they get an answer, think, wow, this is astonishing. And sometimes answers are very, very good. They think, how is this possible? How is this, does this computer know so much? How is it being able to think as well as people? And people can confuse things what they're seeing with genuine intelligence but it's not I remember for example a story about uh, which I heard about several years ago 
about how somebody wants to identify if they really understood mathematics or not. To, oh, from a young child's perspective, if a young child really understood mathematics, not just remembered it but understood it. Okay, so they would say things like, um, "What is um, nine times two?" And might say, "Eighteen." And then the later the person might ask, "What's two times nine? And the child said, "I don't know." I said, "Well, why not?" He uh, said, "I haven't learnt my nine times tables yet." So they had been memorising answers, but they didn't fully understand that two times nine is the same as nine times two. They didn't fully appreciate that at the time apparently according to some I mean this is I can't remember where I, th I heard this story it was uh, probably on the internet it may have been on the telly it was a long time ago but it was something that apparently was a way of finding out if a child really understood it or not so they could do things one way but they didn't understand doing it the other way was the same thing and that's what is happening with AI so what do I think is really going on here well if you want to give it things like type in a maths question it probably does a calculation and give you an answer but what how happens with other things well you see because it seems to give answers in ways which are grammatical and seem to be almost given like a person people are assuming that this means it can actually think for itself and people are worried that computers will one day become so clever we won't need them anymore they will actually need us to do the labouring or something or some menial task. Um, you know? And so what's really going on in my opinion? Well, what you're actually seeing is not intelligence. What you're seeing is advanced plagiarism without any true form of intellect. Or critical thinking at all it is like for example somebody being told just believe it it's fact don't question it it's just fact this is how a lot of religions work where you know the preachers and you know the religious leaders and those that work within the religion as priests or whatever equivalent there is will say this is what happened this is what it says in our um, holy book take our word for it don't question it don't analyze it it happened it's fact just accept our word for it and this is what AI is doing it is going to um, Various documents, which uh, it's been told are trusted sources, so they might be like reputable news organisations or things like that, and they're just finding some articles and basically not questioning what those articles are really saying and just taking them as fact and just tweaking them slightly, so they may say it in slightly different wording. So, for example, if you went to two preachers, for example, and asked them about a specific text in the book, in the, in the Bible, for example, if they are following the religion, they will give you, in real terms, the same story. They'll tell you the same facts, the same details, but the precise wording will be different. So, what I would call the padding may be different. So, for example, you know, um, somebody might say, God created the world in, in six days and rested on the seventh. Some might say, um, it took God six days to build the earth and then he took a day off. Some might say, um, you know, um, 
the world was created in six days and it was created by God and then he rested then he took it and he decided to take a break for a day now you, you, there may be many ways you can say the same thing right and many preachers might not might not say word for word the exact same explanation but the general idea and the general you know um, facts would be the same and that is what I think AI is doing it is going to but it is doing something so it is like you know it is go but it is actually deliberately changing it not changing the facts of the story so much or change or analyzing the detail but purely changing the grammar and the what I would call the padding purely to make it look to the user as if it personally knows this rather than the fact that it's just got a document from somewhere that's picked at random from a source which has been told is generally trustworthy like particular news sites or particular research sites and just changed it picked one article at random changed the grammar bit and just says hey it's right and it's not because it knows that that particular article is really really accurate it's just been told that articles on that particular news site are considered accurate or generally trustworthy generally right without any kind of critical thinking now and in it's interesting where i point out the johnny depp case because for example if if you looked at perhaps the original news story which we can't find out because i don't work for the microsoft okay but the original news story may have been true at the time the original news story which we can't find the source of the trial between amber heard and johnny depp would have been going on probably and the trial generally hadn't finished at that point and so this news site was which i'm assuming would be um, would be reporting the actual true facts at the time at the time they would not have been questioned but now those facts have become out of date because the um court case is over okay and both amber and depp have now reached an a settlement where she will apparently pay, pay him one million dollars and he doesn't pay her anything because you know they can some things cancel each other out and that's what they agreed to and that's that but that was not what was stated by Bing so this is evidence to me that it's not as clever as people think and it's and it didn't look for alternative side didn't say this said this is finished has it finished I, I, is there any more recent documents than this which say it's actually finished is there any other evidence which disputes this the fact that it's finished no it didn't even try to look for that it just found I believe some document says it's ongoing so it, it published that so what you're being tricked into believing is that the rewriting and word tweaking of articles shows true understanding and intelligence which I don't think it does okay now consider for example how some people got their degrees okay I believe there are some people who got their degrees who in simple terms cheated via plagiarism that what they would do is they would get some articles written by other people and then they would just change a few words around so that it would not look as if it had been totally plagiarized even though in reality it had it is also the kind and so does that show that that person's truly intelligent because they could copy some what somebody else said but just change you know a few words around or the word orders slightly like as i said um you know by using a thesaurus to change certain words does that make them truly understand it if for example you've got somebody you've got a linguist okay who could try who, un who didn't understand the ideas but understood the words and they translated those words into another into another language and then another translator translated those words back into the original language and neither of the two original translators ever met each other or worked with each other in any way right 
you may find that if the translation was a correct one to this other language, when it was translated back again into the original language, the words would probably change because they, you know, they would have used ideas rather than literal word for word because there are many ways of saying the same thing. Okay? And so, you know, in some cases, so, you know, some, for example, some might say, the man was walking down, walked down the street. That may get translated to something else in a foreign language. When translated back, it might come back to, the man walked down the road. So road might have been changed to street, or, or vice versa, you know, I can't remember who said that. So street might have been changed to road, um, drawing the translation to and from another language. Okay? And other things might happen. Um, you know, you know, like, um, you know, so for example, um, so we might also translate, he went home on foot. And that might get translated to another language and translated back into he walked home. Or, you know? And so there are ways where you can change the actual words, some of the words without changing any of the meaning or even having to understand the meaning in some cases. You may just know, for example, um, I don't know. A man walked into a shop. Uh, um, okay, I'll give you an example, right? Um, a man... The electronics engineer designed a flip-flop multivibrator. Now, you don't even need to know what a flip-flop multivibrator is. Um, you could get an English language expert that sees that as just a term that they don't need to understand. Um, right? And they could just, um, you know, use that. And say, so, okay, this is a technical term. They could just find out that flip-flop multivibrate is a technical term. And they could change a lot of the language. Um, okay. So they could, for example, say, um, a man who is an electronics expert um, created a flip-flop multivibrator. Um, a an electronics expert um, made a flip flop for multivibrator. They could use all way manner of ways of saying the same thing without changing it, without even having to know what a multi a flip flop multivibrator even is. They just need to know it's a technical term. Don't change it. Leave that part alone. But other padding you can like work around. And that is what AI is doing at the moment. It is getting documents, it's finding out which, it's been pretty much told which words are changeable, which words are not changeable, and which words are basically padding that, that can be changed, and words which basically you should just leave alone. But it doesn't truly understand the facts. It's not clever enough to go elsewhere and find out if, you know, those facts are correct. Um, another example, I asked it about one particular person, you know, used to YouTube videos, okay, not thinking it would have any idea at all. It said that this person was famous, again, this, this person was famous for doing YouTube clips, which they were years ago, and that they, it gave the impression they still do this and they make a lot of money out of doing this. Now, I know that this person has not done YouTube clips for years, 
and they've in recent times moved over to TikTok. And when they did do a, they basically got rid of all their videos. Then I think they made one or two and hid all their original ones. And I think they got rid of those as well. And they currently have no videos at all on their platform. They haven't had for a long time on YouTube. They just got rid of them all. I don't know, maybe they're ashamed of them. Maybe they feel they've grown up and changed their mind on a lot of things. I know this person said that on some of their earlier videos they... Um, change their mind on them and they were just a young idiot they're pr I'm paraphrasing what they said you know and they you know and they didn't believe what they said anymore but they were young and naive in some ways and so my point is this is what you're taking where they didn't t take the look to think well let's say it says they've got lots of YouTube videos okay how we actually check their YouTube channel no um, if they had have done they've noticed there were no YouTube videos on there this is my point. So I could probably, uh, it could probably have worked out even what their YouTube channel was, but didn't even bother to check whether there were actually any videos on there. It says they make lots of money making YouTube videos. They made lots of, they make lots of YouTube videos. Not for a long time they haven't, right? And this is the point I'm making. When this article was written, it was probably an old article that they based this on, which probably said this person has made done lots of YouTube clips and it's probably an out of date article again that they used which would have been true at the time but because this article was seen as probably a trusted resource which they may have used at the time um, which would have been true at the time they took it to mean it's still true today and this is where I say it's not something that isn't uncheckable it's something a person could have checked a person could say okay then right let's find out their website let's not find out their YouTube channel and check if there's actually any videos on there a person could do that straight away and possibly might consider doing that but AI wasn't clever enough to think of this or do it so I believe AI at the moment isn't truly intelligent at all all it's doing is basically plagiarism it is just finding one or two articles changing the wording and claiming the credit for it and it may add a balance perhaps find two or three articles I don't know how it works and if I have three or four articles and base their knowledge on three or four randomly obtained articles from supposedly trusted sites and just try to mishmash that together but it is nowhere near being able to truly think in any way it is just doing simple plagiarism at the moment and I believe that all these scaremongers are saying within about five years they will be more intelligent than us are basically talking rubbish I believe menial tasks can still be done by AI I believe that AI may um, get rid of a lot of jobs as a lot of it will be done by this but it's scary at the moment for example, to think that someone will go on to AI, type in something about somebody, find out something that's out of date about them, and then say, oh no, I can't employ this person because AI says this, when that may have been out of date knowledge, which may have been correct at the time. If that sounds implausible, for example, there may be a case, for example, where somebody was convicted of a crime and later won an appeal. Okay, um, some but it might AI might say, "Oh, this person was convicted of a crime, which was true originally before you know their conviction was overturned because they were later found to be innocent." And some say, "Oh, I can't possibly employ them because they were convicted, even though you know they later wouldn't appeal, were later found to be innocent." That is where the worry is for me. You know, using out of date information out of context. But I honestly think we're not anywhere near there yet I think uh, there's this guy Mo um, is even an old idiot um, you know this Mo, Mo Gold that guy is even an old idiot who's just setting his ways because he's old and paranoid like a lot of people are about modern technology or um, he's just saying this because he's got a book to write and he thinks that scaring people will encourage people to buy a book scaring people about the future of AI I think that um, what he's done is very similar to what people did in the past 
where in the past there was this fear of machines and people just talked about how they were scared of you know the rise of machines and how machines would do people out of jobs which they did and people thought that this would be the future and they just thought well if machines do everything why do we need people and they just thought that machines would one day do harm and to some extent they have I mean um, you know you can get weapons nowadays which are far more powerful than the knives people had in the past you can kill many people very quickly with the equip with military equipment these days compared to how long it would have taken people to kill you know an enemy with just a knife in their hand you know or a bow and arrow or something like that and even you could argue bow and arrow is some sort of machinery you could argue so you know, there is some truth but I, but I don't think these machines are able to think for themselves in any way yet and I don't think they ever really will even if you look at the where the source of these articles, the source of these articles came from people. All this AI has done, and examples I gave, is to just look at articles written by real people and just change the wording slightly. But real people thought these ideas up initially. Real people report on what was happening. And if you even take, like, ask any questions about the future of humanity or some sort of political arguments, then you could argue who is the true intellect here? Is it, say for example in the world of politics, the politicians who actually come up with the political strategies and policies and put them into practice? Or the journalist who says this is what the politician said their policies are? Is it the journalist that simply reports on the policies and has a news bulletin stating what the policies of the government are going to be? Or is the true intelligence based on the politicians who actually came up with these ideas and are trying to put them into practice practically? Now, I know a lot of people hate politicians. I know they're seen as terrible people by many people. But um, that's a separate issue, right? The issue is if you're trying to be neutral about this, you couldn't say that the um, newsreader reading, giving, reading a news story about what politicians said they would do uh, if they're just stating facts, makes them um, more intelligent than the person who actually created these policies. Now, it might, in some cases, be the case. This, this, um, for example, this politician might create some truly dreadful policies. And you might say, well, no, set, at least the newsreader wasn't coming out with dreadful policies. They were just stating facts, but they weren't doing something terrible. Whereas this, new, this politician might say, come up with some dreadful policies, as only a complete idiot would do. Right? So you could argue that, but that is where I think it is. Um, I believe AI at the moment is just essentially news gathering. It is at its, at its most simplest way of explaining it, but it's not doing any critical thinking on it. It's not, it's not like, for example, some areas of the media will like, comment on the policies of the government, they will say what areas they think are good, what areas they think are bad, why they think some policies are good, why they think some policies are bad. Um, in their own personal opinion, they will also some of them will state their own reason for it. Whereas uh, that requires some sort of thinking. Whereas in the past, some would just say, for example, we talked to the government and they said this. And we talked to the opposition and they said this. And they'll just state the facts. They won't try to intellectualise them. So they'll just say, this is what the government said and this is what people who don't agree with the government said. But they won't be stating their own opinions on this. So they're just basically doing, AI is doing something like that at the moment. Just finding some things which are pro, some things some which are against. And just saying, this is what the pro side says, this is what the, un the those that oppose it say against it say but it's not doing its own thinking or its own analyzing or its own detailed analysis as to why it personally believes one side more than another whereas i said in a lot of like commentators on nowadays in some channels i say what side they fall on and why they fall on that side like why they're pro trump or why they're pro biden and many news channels will you know bias these days in particular in america like you know, you get CNN versus Fox and things like that. 
um, and you know one channel would be pro Democrats, which can be pro Republicans, and you know, and that each will say why they think in certain cases they believe what they believe. And so, don't be scared of AI for quite some years, guys. It may do you out of a job because simply you may be doing something that's repetitive, that's easy to um, do by machine. If it's just a repetitive task, it doesn't require you thinking for yourself, it only requires you just following a script or following you know, a set of, you know, almost like following a recipe if you like, um, you know, where you're just given a list of tasks in a specific order, you just follow them without doing your own thinking. But I believe AI is not yet clever enough in any way to make decisions which are not simply reading a script or just reading the views or opinions of others and changing the word slightly. So AI is just basically plagiarizing it's not truly thinking, in my opinion. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.